Hey, what are Joe thoughts on Cuphead? What are Joe thoughts on Cuphead? Joe thoughts on Cuphead. Joe thoughts on Cuphead. 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 Yes. Cuphead. Hey, what are Joe thoughts on Cuphead? I I didn't want to do this. I wanted a break from this insanity, but you were all like, do Cuphead next, what are Joe thoughts on Cuphead? And you know, you know what? You know what? Okay, all right. Let me start out by giving my experience on my casual playthrough of Cuphead. This game obviously has so much passion put into it. The art style immediately catches your attention, the music is amazing, the, the gameplay is well polished. Overall, it's an amazing experience, unlike any other game I've played. So much work went into this game, and it really shows. It took me around 20 hours to complete the game the first time I played it, and within the first two hours, I knew this was a game I just had to speedrun. And I've never speedrun any game before, but this was going to be the first one, and boy, was that a big decision. Why? Why would I do this to myself? Why would I play what's known as the Dark Souls of 2D platforming and go, I want to play this over and over and over again, as fast as possible. And you know what? I did it, and I had a blast. But the difficulty. Holy hell, the difficulty. I mean, this game is hard enough just playing it through casually. And I mean, I understand why they made it so difficult. If this game was easy, it would just take maybe five hours to finish. It's relatively short. But it's the difficulty that really brings you back for more. The difficulty's not unfair. If you die, you know it was your fault, and you go, okay, I died. But why, and how can I avoid that in the future? I need to memorize the attack patterns and try again. Try, try, try again. But that's really where Cuphead shines. It doesn't hold your hand, and it wants you to fail if you're not willing to put in the effort it takes to succeed. And I have no problem with that. I enjoy a challenge, and it makes you feel all the more accomplished when you're finally able to beat that boss that you've been stuck on for a freaking week, and you just go, YES! In your freaking face, you Captain Crunch motherfucker! <clears throat> yeah, that's something Cuphead does pretty well. It's an amazing game, and I couldn't recommend it more, especially for the price. I like to determine the value of a game by how many hours you're going to spend playing it. For 20 US dollars, you're gonna get around 20 hours of gameplay for it, which equates to only $1 per hour of playtime. And that's if you don't want to play it on expert mode, <laughs> and if you're up for the expert challenge. Good luck. Good, uh, good luck on you. So why? Why did I do it? Why did I choose to put myself through the challenge of mastering this game so I could complete it as fast as possible? I don't know. Cuz? Now but for real. <laughs> to me, a game that's good to speedrun, first and foremost, you have to enjoy. And yeah, I, I really enjoy this game. But also, the controls have to feel fluid, so you know it's your fault when you make a mistake and your character jumps when you want him to jump. Just jump, dude, come on, just jump for me. God, I hit the A button, I hit it, and you just sat there and you, you, you screwed it all up, Cuphead. There's also not a lot of RNG, which is a random number generator. It, it, it's basically where the game chooses at random when something is going to happen. And this is something that you never want as a speedrunner. How would you feel if, after weeks of practice, you're finally able to get that perfect run you've been looking for, only for it to be completely ruined by something out of your control? Like, at, at the last minute or so of your run, you get screwed over just by random chance that the game didn't give you a certain outcome that you wanted it to. Never as a speedrunner. Never. Mm. But Cuphead doesn't really do that. And I mean, sure, there's random elements, but you can combat those. Really, the only RNG is when the bosses choose to do which attack. But it's not too hard to anticipate it, and there's only going to be around three to four moves that they will choose to do at any given time. Learn how to dodge those moves, and you're good to go. But you have to learn all the moves of all the bosses. Not only do you have to be able to dodge those moves, but you have to do it in a way that also kills the boss as quickly as possible. It's not enough to stay alive. You have to stay alive while consistently doing damage to that enemy. That's where the difficulty truly lies. And speedrunning Cuphead brings the difficulty from 100 to a freaking thousand. You know that boss that takes you 20 tries just to kill it once? Well, you gotta beat him your first try, every try. And if you don't, well then, guess what? You start all over and do all the bosses again. How's that for some raised steaks? You like steaks? You like big juicy steaks? Cause here's a big freaking steak for you, cuphead. 
Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it's intense. So when I'm doing some Cuphead speedruns and someone goes like, Oh, why'd you mess up there? I could do better than this chumpo. Yeah, you yeah, know what? You can just f*** right on out of here. And you listen to me, kid. Playing this game casually cannot compare to what you have to endure doing it as quickly and efficiently as possible. Ah! <coughs> God. Damn. Why, Cuphead? Why? Ah. There's also glitches you have to learn if you want to be as efficient as possible. There are ways you can skip certain portions of the bosses. Some of them are easy, some of them require extreme precision to pull off. And I don't got extreme precision, so when I mess up on that one glitch, guess what? I'm starting over. At least that was the case. Until the Cuphead developers decided that the speedrunning community didn't have it rough enough. So they patched everything. All the glitches we found, everything we utilized to beat their game as quickly as we could. I mean, we sat there for hours, finding and taking advantage of all the little hiccups they left over in the game. And we used those to beat it as quickly as possible. So after we finally got the hang of it, they screwed us over. Hey, remember that glitch you spent hours perfecting? Well, it's gone now. Learn a new way to do it. What the hell? That, that was it for me. That was the final straw. And I, I haven't really come back to Cuphead since. I've become so used to those glitches that once they were gone, so was all the practice and effort I put into grinding for those speed runs. And all those good times you got for grinding for hours, no longer valid. Sorry, do it again. <laughs> no, 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 no. The developers really screwed the speedrunners over when they patched all the glitches we found. And as a result, caused most of us to move on to other games. I mean, yeah, sure, you can roll back the update and play the legacy version, but it's just the fact that you have to do that in the first place. I'm not finished with Cuphead. I'll eventually come back, but for now, I... I need a break. And don't let this deter you from speedrunning it yourself. It's gonna be a struggle and it won't be easy, but the payoff is glorious. Once you're finally able to grind yourself down to that time you've been wanting and you can say with pride, you know that Cuphead game? Yeah, I know, it's <laughs> difficult as hell. Wanna watch me beat it in 30 minutes? So, overall, yes, Cuphead is an amazing game that I couldn't recommend more, and I give it a rating of 9 you dieds out of 10. So thanks for clicking, tapping, tuning in, doing what you do, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Peace out, everyone. And if you're up for the expert challenge, good luck. Good, uh, good luck. Good luck on you. Luck, luck to the max. All of the luck is wished upon you.